You used to check under the bed for monsters before you turned out the light. We used to have our I love you mores, but you always let me win. You would wrap my blanket around me and say it was magic because it was full of your love. Now I pull my sheets to my chin with a dimple that mom says looks just like yours. And I pull it tight so none of your love can escape. I shout I love you more into the darkness, but it's more of a statement than an argument because an argument takes two people and it's just me. There's no one here to protect me from the monsters. Daddy, you were my hero. And this is my bat signal telling you to come home. You taught me how to ride a bike. You picked me up when I fell down. You pushed me when I was too afraid to pedal. You told me to keep going when all I wanted to do was cry. You wiped away my tears before they even left my eyes. Now my tears well up in my eyes. They drip from the tip of my pointy nose that most girls would hate, but I love because it looks just like yours. Every tear-soaked pillow stain is the thought of you. But now my eyes are as dry as the desert that you live in. I'm out of tears. But Daddy, you are my hero. And this is my bad signal telling you to come home. I'm trying to figure out who I am, but every time I look in the mirror, I see my chin with a dimple just like yours, and my pointy nose just like yours, and my eyes like deep blue, like the ocean between us, and I'm reminded that I am half you. Daddy, how am I supposed to figure out who I am if half of me is gone half of the time when half is 50%, 50% is a failing grade? Daddy, I feel like I'm failing you. You told me to be strong, but without you, I am broken. I am falling apart. Daddy, you were my glue. And this is my bat signal telling you to come home. When I was little, I asked why you kept leaving me. You said to protect us, keep us safe, but it feels like you're protecting everyone else and left me to fend for myself. Daddy, you are millions of miles away, fighting a war I do not understand, and I am here fighting to understand why you are not here, but you do not know about the war on the home front of head versus heart, a battle no one can win. But you are not here, so you do not know that you have to understand that I am fighting alone. And Sarge, I need backup. I'm running out of ammo, but you are millions of miles away fighting a war. I am fighting to understand. Daddy, you are my hero, and this is my bat signal, my SOS, my dinner bell, my street lights are on, my whatever will bring you home to me. You have to come home to me. You promised you'd come home to me. I've been counting the days since you left, but Daddy, I'm running out of numbers. I can't count that high. Whisper it into her hair when she's sleeping, when the world is quiet, when everything is still and the room is black and blue, like the bruises on her from the past lives she's left behind. And when she wakes, caress her back, feeling for the wax stumps of the wings she lost when she flew too close to the sun, in search of the wild things that live beyond the glimmer of twilight. Write it in a letter when she's long gone from your life. Send it to the heavens and leave no return address. You'll know she'll see it because your love's been written in the stars. And when the crown falls from your he wrinkled head, and the sword from your wise palms and the throne crumbles, she'll be there in your bone marrow until your heart stops beating. Take her on a date and bring her roses and toast to her. When she asks, what is this all for? Watch the way her lips curl. Tell her you don't know what to do or how to say it. Watch every movement of her chest heaving with laughter. Stammer every word and let your jaw go slack when she snorts. Say it boldly for the whole world to hear, or at least the restaurant. Shout it to the pink sky when she's thousands of, thousands of miles away from home 
hopes that her ears will find the sound amidst the hum of the world. Shout it when you're standing proud in front of the setting sun, facing the burning heat with eyes that have seen hell and returned. When she returns home, hungry and tired, and feeling the least bit loved, bring her to the top of a hill and tell her the heavens know her name. Say it to yourself when you're alone, but not lonely, on your roof, when you're skimming the pages of your journal and writing nonsense. When you're disappointed with a jar of hearts and fireflies by your bedside and wondering what kind of audacity she has for stealing your heart from you, cleaning away the stray veins, cutting your arteries and filling you with her love and your life force coming back twice as strong. Take her down to the water, eat a pizza or two on the boardwalk, watch her eyes entranced and tell her behind a maybe or an as a friend. And when you're walking down to the sand and her fingers find yours, you'll know. You'll know that she wasn't a missing half so much as a missing whole that she is the kiss of summer wind on your back and sand that stings your feet. Those words linger in your mouth when she breathes you in and counts to 10. Say it when you're doing something mundane and boring and routinely, when she's not expecting it, eyes glancing up from behind that day's paper. She's seen light and she's seen you and she's decided on the better of the two. When you're brushing her hair in a tranquil silence and humming a tune to her, and when you're on your front porch swing listening to her off key singing, you'll know then, you'll stay with her and tell her with your hands and touches. A Poet by Karishma Shohan. I want to be able to write poetry, to be able to wrap my prose around your mind like ivy around the old columns of the house in the woods. I want to be able to ensnare your muddled desires and dreams and fish them from the river Styx that runs through your mind. I want to be able to dig through the depths of humanity and greed and find the paradox that lies in everyone's eyes. I want to dissect the reason you cry and I think and the world turns and the mosques and temples and churches gleam even at night. I want to scratch away at the lottery ticket that stays in the right back pocket of some and in the left hand of others. I want to slice and cut and gouge away at your eyes until you let the liquid seep down my arms because only a poet should be able to see into your soul. I want to sacrifice my livelihood, my roof, my scraps of cotton that lie across my spine for even an inkling of the mind of poets. I want to bend at the seams like leather and snap at the air like whips so I can experience the art of writing mundane things. I want to be a poet and I'll give anything to be.